hello guys welcome to my video today we are going to um, learn how to forecast a time series data using Weka so first of all you need a data set and I have one right here which is the LKM stock price uh, data TLKM stands for Telkom Indonesia it is a telecommunication company so we are going to predict the future of the LKM index prices let's go back to the main menu of the Weka app so he, right here on the top uh, upper top so you can see a uh, tool buttons and you can choose a r r f viewer I'm sorry a r f f viewer or you can uh, use Control A in your keyboard for a shortcut. Let's switch it to the um, ARFF viewer. So here's the display of the ARFF viewer. So first of all, uh, you need to load the data. On the top left corner, there's a file button and please uh, select open or you can also use control O as a shortcut and search for the directory of your data set which is formatted in in CSV so you need to change the types of the file into CSV first so the file will be spawned and then let's open it okay here's the uh, display of the data um, as a table there is a date which um, show us the date of the uh, rows of the record and then there is an open value open price for uh, for a day and then the highest price for that day and then the lowest price closing price adjective close and volume how much the unit of the stock index are being traded in a day so we only need to save this table and choose file on the top left corner and please select save as or you can also use control save as and then just please select I'm sorry that if you cannot see the pop-up window because there is a problem with my OBS so please just um, listen to my instruction and I wish that you will be able to follow my tutorial okay let's go back to the main menu and there is on the on the left side on the right side I'm sorry there is a uh, explore button on the top you can click it and let's move to the main page it is this is the display of the Weka Explorer page so first of all you need to load the converted data which is formatted in ARFF on the um, upper left there is a open file button please click it and I'm sorry again uh, once again that you cannot see the pop-up but uh, you only need to find the directory of your converted files that we have been uh, converted before oh sorry there's a problem let's try it once again here we go ah, I already load the um, the R A R F F data and here we can see that the feature or the columns is already red uh, it can be red so um, there is seven columns on the data set the first one is the date and I already mentioned it before and please uh, move on let's look at the top at the top uh, tab there is a forecast tab let's click it 
and here we select the target of the data which we are going to predict the value we are going to predict the value of the highest price of the day so let's click on the column uh, the high column and then set the number of time units to forecast so we are going to predict for uh, five days in the future for the next five days so let's change the value into five and let the timestamp uh, use the RTL artificial time index because um, I see that there is a, a problem with the data type of the date so Wika Explorer cannot um, cannot uh, identify it as a time date time uh, data type so that's fine we can use the artificial time index and the periodicity uh, let's set it into daily because our data is a daily data and then uh, don't forget to check the perform evaluation so we can see the evaluation matrix value at the end of the uh, prediction let's move to the advanced configuration tab and then we can choose the uh, method or the algorithm I'm gonna use a uh, multi-layer perceptron but it is up to you let's move to the evaluation tab and then I'll choose mean absolute error, mean squared error, root mean squared error, and mean absolute percentage error. I will use four error metrics to display the performance of the prediction. On the output, let's check the output prediction at step and set the target output to um, high because we are going to predict the high value and we are going to uh, choose this one choose this one you don't need to ch uh, check the second one but actually we only need to check this one let's just skip the R2 but um, it's okay we need to visualize when the model is predicting uh, for the next day only one day so the prediction visualization would not be too far okay and then you only need to um, click the start button okay here we go so this is the output um, we got 245 rows for the actual data and Weka already um, predicted the next five days and this is the value of the next five days and this is the evaluation the evaluation takes occurs on the last five days of the available data so it will be used the uh, index of 241 to 245 and here is the each steps the first steps it got let's compare the main absolute error so in the main absolute error on the first step there is a, a reduce res residual residual error for 55 I guess it is 55 rupiah so the residual error is 50 59 I'm sorry so the second step the second day there is 77 or if you are um, if you are struggling of to understand for mean absolute error I recommend you to use the mean absolute percentage error it stands for uh, the error percentage of the actual data so on the first day we got a 1.7 percent of the uh, for it the predictive value is missing about 1.7 percent from the actual data and the uh, last day for the fifth day 
it gets error of 5% around 5% from the actual data so we can conclude that um, the more time step that we will be predict then the the higher we we will get a higher value of the error matrix let's see the visualization so this is the visualization of the um, prediction step where it is um, training or testing so as we can see here the red dot is uh, the actual data and the blue dot uh, stands for our presenting um, representing the predicted value as we can see the uh, model is pretty uh, doing pretty good and I guess we can improve this uh, with much um, research and I guess we can develop it to be able to predict the stock value much better um, I think that's all guys for the tutorial uh, that was a simple way to predict a time series data I hope that you will be able to understand and you will be able to do a hands-on by yourself and good luck thank you